During the Ediacaran era, 630 to 540 million years ago, the oceans were inhabited by strange organisms that lack any obvious affinities with familiar animals or plants. Within a relatively brief period, termed the Cambrian Explosion, starting about 540 million years ago, these biota virtually disappeared and were replaced by animals belonging to modern phyla, including arthropods, sponges, comb jellies, marine worms and chordates. These assignments are supported by exceptionally well-preserved Cambrian fossils, including traces of soft body parts. However, many of these fossils remain enigmatic, to say the least, because their body plans seem unlike those of modern animal groups. For Stephen Jay Gould, these anomalies represent novel body plans that did not survive the ravages of natural selection, and hence became extinct. Provocatively, he claims that if the tape of evolution were rerun from the Cambrian, we might find ourselves today in a world dominated by a very different selection of organisms. Gould emphasises the randomness of survival in the evolutionary lottery, scotching any notion of progress from lower to higher forms culminating in humans. However, Simon Conway Morris interprets these fossils very differently, as intermediates or ancestors in the appearance of new animal groups. He focuses particularly on convergent evolution, adducing numerous examples of this process and arguing that only certain design solutions actually work to enhance fitness. Hence these adaptations recur repeatedly in independent lineages. The example of box camera eyes was cited earlier. Likewise, the convergent adaptations against drought adopted by cacti and by some euphorbias. Extrapolating speculatively from this, intelligent bipedal life may be a predictable outcome from prolonged evolution in a, in a benign planetary environment. One suggested compromise between these positions is that these now extinct Cambrian animals belonged to major class-level groups, as distinct from modern groups as insects are from crustaceans, but did not represent completely different body plans corresponding to vanished phyla. Other later class or order-level extinctions include the arthropod trilobites, molluscan ammonites, and reptilian dinosaurs. <laughs>